we can demonstrate the way in which Le Chatelier's principle governs chemical equilibrium by making changes to a reaction and seeing how that solution changes accordingly. So the reaction that we're working with here is cobalt chloride that reacts with water. Here we have cobalt chloride. You can see that it is this dark blue or purple color. And we are going to add some water to this solution, which now sets the forward reaction in motion. The forward reaction here, cobalt chloride plus water produces cobalt hexahydrate and chlorine ions. And as we can see, we have formed a slightly pink solution. And we can see that it's at equilibrium here where there is a certain amount of blue still present in the solution. So now what we can do is since we can see that the enthalpy change is negative here, and that means that this forward reaction is exothermic, that means that if we were to add the solution into a hot water or into a hot water bath, we would see that by adding heat, we are going to favor the endothermic direction because Le Chatelier's principle tells us that the, rea the reaction works to undo the change that's been made. So by adding it into a hot water bath, the reaction is going to favor the endothermic direction. We would expect to see this go a darker shade of blue. So I'm going to do that and leave that for the time being. While that proceeds, I'm going to demonstrate the common iron effect with another reaction. So once again, we start with our cobalt chloride. We add water to that reaction, to that solution. Once again, we form a mixture that is at equilibrium. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate that by increasing the concentration of one of the products here, in this case, we can see that one of the products is chlorine ions. And we know that hydrochloric acid, when it ionizes, form hydrogen ions and chlorine ions. So by adding hydrochloric acid to the solution, I am adding a common ion, which is why this is called the common ion effect. And what that tells us is that I'm increasing the concentration of one of the products, which means that I should favor the reverse reaction and we should see the solution turn more blue, which we can see happening here. So it's important to note here and what this demonstrates being the common iron effect is that it is not necessary to add specifically only chlorine. You can add something that contributes to the overall number of ions and that will still change the concentration and therefore the equilibrium position. What we can see in this reaction over here, we have very clearly favored the reverse reaction. The reverse reaction produces more cobalt chloride, which is blue in color, and we can see we have produced a more blue solution. What we can now also do is we can move this into a cold water bath. That cold water bath is going to, once again, force this reaction to respond by favoring the forward reaction, which is exothermic, to try and give off heat that is being lost to the surroundings. So we can move the solution into our cold water bath and we can observe the changes here. So once again, this is all governed by Le Chatelier's principle, which says that once you have a reaction that is at equilibrium, any change that you make to that reaction mixture is going to be counted in a way that favors the reverse direction or favors the direction that undoes the change that you've made. So in this case, when we added it to the hot water, it favored the endothermic direction to absorb that heat. When we add it to the cold water, we can see the color is going more pink and as we favor the forward reaction here because that is going to give off heat to counter the cold temperature that's been added here and then finally our common iron effect which has shown us that by increasing the concentration of one of our products we have favored the reverse reaction to try and decrease that concentration again demonstrating the Chatelier's principle which always tries to counter the change that has been made and here we can see that we have gone back to a pink solution in the cold water bath.